And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. So the last sellout video I made was pretty cringy, not even gonna lie. I'm actually gonna try to be myself in this video, so... Excuse me if I go over the top. Anyways, a couple weeks after I uploaded the video of the Galman tablet review, this dude named ZZQ William actually PM'd me on Osu. He's a pretty cool dude. He wanted to give me free shit. And I was like, hell yeah, dude. So he sent me this Pro X Touch fancy keypad thingy. So I've been using it on and off for around like a couple of months. I do want to express my gratitude for this guy. I mean, he went out of his way to make a separate model just for me. A lot of people usually use their middle finger and their index finger to play Osu. I personally use ring and index finger. Just a little bit different, but it also means that there's a one key gap between my keys. And ZZQ William actually went out of his way to make a separate model just for my playstyle. So thank you, Mr. ZZQ William. Even though I'm still gonna rip your product to shreds. A little bit of information about the touchpad it is completely different from your normal traditional style keyboard, in that it uses capacitive sensing instead of traditional style keyboard switches or rubber dome. If you're a peasant like that. I actually did my physics presentation on capacitive sensing, but if you'd like to know more information about that, you can go ahead and Google it yourself. In order to find some common ground, I'm going to go ahead and use an analogy. You know those things that you learned in middle school that you never ever use? Yeah, that thing. A touchpad is like a keyboard, as a tablet is to a mouse. Yeah, that was really stupid, but it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Both the touchpad and the tablet are used to mimic the inputs of its counterparts. Your touchpad is going to mimic your key presses, and your tablet is going to mimic your mouse movements. It's just being done in a different way. As for the functionality of the touchpad, it's almost perfect. Under normal circumstances when you're just playing the game, you're probably not going to have any problems. But before I even got this thing, I was afraid that while I'm using it, it would register multiple inputs for a single key press or a single touch. Now like I said, under normal circumstances, it's almost completely flawless. But there is a tiny little zone just above the keypad where if you hover your hand over it, it will trigger the inputs over and over and over again. Now in the video, my hand it does shake a little bit because I have a severe case of Parkinson's, but it's just there to show, yes, this touchpad is not perfect, and it's impossible for it to be perfect, but it's almost as close as you can get. Now don't get me wrong, this little error zone that I'm talking about is probably less than one one thousandth of a meter tall. All I'm trying to say is that you should be aware of it when using this touchpad. There's still a whole bunch of advantages that you get by using this touchpad though. For one, it's almost completely silent. With mechanical keyboards, there are two main things that causes noise. The key switch itself, with Cherry Mex Blues, and your keycap bottoming out to the keyboard. With the touchpad, you don't have any of those. It's just your finger and the copper plate. This touchpad also minimalizes travel distance and completely gets rid of actuation force. There are no springs or keys that you need to actually depress, so actuation force is completely out of the picture, maximizing stamina, and travel distance is as small as you can get. As long as your finger lifts off of the copper plate, you're good to go. I will say it's going to take a long ass time to get used to this thing though. Like I said, I've been using it on and off for a couple of months, and I'm still not used to it completely. Because there is no travel distance, your key presses are much more immediate, if that makes any sense. And believe it or not, some players are used to having a delay when they're playing the game. When you're using a keyboard, every time you press a key, it activates the key before you get that physical response from hitting the bottom of the keyboard. With the Pro X Touch, it's immediate. The key activates when you feel that physical response. There are a couple of things I don't like about this thing though. Right now the Pro X Touch is around $40. With $40 you could buy an off-brand Chinese mechanical keyboard. A full-size one. If you're making the choice between two touchpads or a full-size 108 key mechanical keyboard. But then again, you wouldn't be buying this thing if you didn't have a keyboard already. Another thing is that error zone that I was talking about earlier. It may be such a small tiny zone, but if you're not careful to actually lift your finger off of the copper plate each and every time, you're going to end up hitting that zone and messing up. Finally, the last concern, which is probably the most nitpicky but also the worst, is its 
looks. ZZQ William makes each one of these models by hand, and he is not perfect by all means. I mean, it looks alright at first glance. I mean, when you inspect it, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's alright, I guess. But there are multiple imperfections that you can find just by inspecting it around. The plates are copper, so like pennies, they will tarnish eventually. In fact, mine already has. The logo looks like it was printed on a piece of paper and glued onto it. And I'm sure you could find many more if you just looked around the thing. However, like I said, this is all nitpicky stuff. You're not buying this thing for its looks. You're buying this thing for its functionality. And if you're looking for a touch style keypad, yeah, I'll go ahead and recommend this one. It may not be perfect by all means, but it definitely gets the job done in the end. Oh, and a lot of people do have a couple of concerns on whether or not you can stream really well on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a five minute death stream map. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye